Hello my friends and uh, welcome back to the, the door channel. Um, right, last time I did a book haul um, I mentioned that I had managed to assemble the first 300. That's numerically, um, not in total, <laughs> uh, in case there's any confusion. First 300 of the, um, the yellow spines, um, of which I'm trying to collect all 580 as most of you will be aware. Um, so I've already done a couple of videos that cover uh, issues 1 or publications 1 to 100. So today we're going to have a look at uh, a deeper look at, closer look at um, issues 101 to 150. Uh, right, so without any further ado, we'll get into it because there's a fair few to get through. Right, uh, number 101. That is the, um, the second of the Annual World's Best Efforts. No, sorry, it'd be the third. Um, there, were, there were 12 of these from 1982 to 1983. Uh, the 84 one just fell outside of the yellow spine when they went to ordinary spines. Um, so yeah, 12 of these. Uh, most of them were done by Jack Gorn cover art, of which this is one. Uh, shame about the lettering, it kind of takes away from the artwork, but um, so I'm a bit up and down with Jack Gorn as I mentioned before, but I think uh, these ones he did for the World's Best SF are some of his better efforts. Right, now, number two, DG Compton. Um, now, this was um, published in Great Britain under two different titles, actually. Um, <clears> the <throat> first one was the uh, C Continuous Catherine Morton. Oh, that's a tricky one. And then it was again published under the title um, Death's Head. I think Death's Head, yeah. Um, and then a, um, a film was made of it also, which... Uh, title which escapes me strangely although I have seen it um, but anyway this uh, cover art was by Carol Thole uh, number 102 okay number 3 um, as you can see that's a, a Kelly Frias cover um, yeah, that's Guy Schneider, uh, sorry, Cecil Schneider, I mixed up, there is a Guy Schneider. I uh, can't quite remember how many books he had published, but uh, I don't think too many. That's a nice, uh, nice Kelly Frias cover there. Okay, right, then 104 is um, the Weathermonger, that's a nice, nice cover by George Barr. Covers are always nice. Um, it's part of a it's part of a series. This one, I'm I'm not absolutely certain where it lies in in that series or what the series was called. To be honest, but um, he didn't do many many books for door at all. Okay, you know, Barrington Bailey. Wall of Chronopolis 105. Uh, that's another Kelly Frias, of course. Um, now, I don't know, he did, did half a dozen, I think, books for, for Door, or Door published half a dozen of his books <coughs> to get it the right way around. Um, and most of them are quite, um, quite difficult to find uh, in the UK. Um, I mean, they're not copious in, in the US, to be honest, but. Um, yeah, um, I had trouble finding a, a couple of the later ones. But, uh, yeah, it's a very, very strange Kelly Frias cover, that one, I have to say. Right, now, number 106. I like this cover, it's nice. That's uh, another Kelly Frias metallic muse by Lord Lloyd Bigger, as you can see there. Again, he didn't do, I don't think we covered his history in the last video, but he didn't do that many. 
but that's a particularly nice cover. I like it. With a red background as well, you know. It's nice. Okay, that 107 we have. Ron Goulart now. Uh, Ron Goulart uh, was quite prolific uh, in Door. I think they published 15 of his his, his novels or his books within the um, Yellow Spine edition. So I think there was another one outside. Um, but uh, yeah, that's quite a nice cover. That's by by Jack Gorn. One of his better efforts. He's not an author I care for, but he was popular. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have uh, published so many of his books. Okay, Gordon Eklund, again, we, we covered his history last time. Um, that's, uh, I, think, I think that covers by Charles Gross. I'll just check that out for you. Yep, Charles Gross. Interesting. Not familiar with his work, but uh, yeah, he did a couple or more for for door. Oh, excuse me, one moment. <clears throat> now, as I've mentioned many, many times in the past, um, if you if you were to start collecting this door series. These, these might give you a lot of problems. Uh, there were 11 years best horror stories in the Yellow Spine. And they're very, very uncommon over here and quite expensive too. You know, I mean, most, most dealers charge around about 25 quid uh, per, you know, per, per copy of whatever year it was, um, whatever series it was. And... Um, they're, they're more plentiful in America, but you know, by the time you, you had on the postage, it's um, unless you can buy it, <clears throat> buy a bunch of them together. Although even then, um, a warning for anybody um, who, who's going to buy American books uh, from eBay, uh, eBay actually handle the postage themselves, uh, which means it's difficult for dealers to give you a combined postage deal. Um, I found that to my cost. Um, so you know, just uh, just be just be aware of that. Um, now that cover is not familiar to me. I will tell you. Yeah, it's a chap called Hans Arnold. Quite nice. Be fitting, Jekyll and Hyde. Right now we have. Oh yes. The third of the um, the Green Star series by by Lynn Carter. That's a very nice Roy Crankle cover. Who did a lot of lovely covers for the early Ace books in the states, which uh, a lot of them were distributed over here. But um, yeah, so that's about all we can say about that one. Uh, I mean, Lynn Carter did. Did a lot of um, books for Door. Um, he also did a lot of books as editor uh, of, of certain anthologies. So yeah, he was um, he was a big com contributor to Door books. Right now we have Brian Stableford. That'll be one of the Hooded Swan books, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Granger, or it's stroke or it's swan, whichever you want. Um, very nice cover that one, I find. Uh, Kelly Frias again. Um, there again, I covered Stableford's history last time, so I won't go through all that again. Right, um, one of the many John Brunners. Again, I covered him last time, so. Um, I mean, when I, when I mentioned Jack Gorn being up and down, that's another Jack Gorn, and I don't care for that one at all. Uh, but um, it's because, probably because of the, I don't know why they do that. But, um, yeah, John Brunner there, at number 112. 
Right, jumping to 113. One of the many Prescott of Scorpio books. Um, Alan Bert Acres. Uh, then Jack Gorn, not too keen on that one. But um, yeah, millions of those there were. Okay, now this is the first, um, this is the first A. E. Van Vogt novel that Dorr published. They did do a anthology round about number five, I think I showed you last time. Um, but that's his, his, his first novel. And, and he did, I think apart from that, he did another 10, or had, had another 10 published um, within the Yellow Spine series. And that is a cover by Vincent de Fate. Okay, that'd be him. Right, now, another, another series. Jim Rest of Terror, number 11. I think this is the fourth, um, and the third, I think, I think there were eight um, Dumerous novels before Dor took them over and 9, 10, 11, yeah, this will be the third, another Curly Freeze cover, typical Curly Freeze cover because he used to do, he used to do a lot of heads, that's a nice one, Black background there. And, uh, well, I, yeah, you probably know from what I've said in the past, a lot of these are uh, Adore originals, so the only place you could get them early on. Right, Gordon Dixon. Um, we covered his history last time as well. He did a lot of books. And we won one, six. Um, that's another Kelly Frears. Not his best, I have to say. So we'll quickly get rid of that one. Right, um, Marisha Zell has me, that's a nice cover. I can't remember who did that one, but um, this was a, a sequel um, to another book. I'm, I'm, I don't I really like Zell Asney, so I don't really keep up with his stuff, but um, and that's by. Carl Lundgren, who I'm not familiar with. Not bad, though. Not bad. As I say, Zelazny is one of those authors I can't get away with, so I can't remember what that's attached to. Right, Piers Anthony. That's his one and only door contribution. Jack Gorn, again. Much more to be said. Right, here's a nice, uh, nice George Bar for you. Um, another one of the multitudinous uh, dark over novels. I mean, I've never read one. Fantasy is not my thing, but uh, obviously very popular because they uh, they printed a lot of them. The 119, this is quite a nice cover, I find George, George Bart to be pleasing <coughs> on the eye. I forget which, I think that might be the 8th. Um, Dark Over Novel. But of course they were printed out of sequence anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, I actually found this in a charity shop because I discovered later it's not the easiest book to find. Now, um, I have an Oxfam bookshop near me and I think they, 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 they used to sell only books but they've branched out now into all other things as uh, most bookshops or charity bookshops have. Um, and this was their idea of a charity book price. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that's crazy getting a book in for nothing and then trying to charge seven quid for it i think i think i got this as part of a buy so many and get so many free deal but even so well, i'm glad i picked it up because i probably couldn't have found it any cheaper kelly freeze yes that amuses me i must say oh I often say that I, you know, if charity shops get books in for nothing, why not just knock them all out for a quid, two quid? Don't understand. There we go. Right, here we have Andre Norton. Again, we covered our history last time, so I won't go into that. Um, fantasy. Not sure if that's... Um, Number one, two, one. I'm not sure that's Jack Gorn or not. I'll have to check. Yeah, it is. Jack Gorn. Yeah, one of his nicer, nicer efforts. Good old Jack. Right. And then we have uh, the second in the three volumes. I've seen one eye last time. There's two eye. Very weird cover, I have to say. Um, I think Stuart Gordon did anything for Dora apart from the, the three eyes books, if you like. Um, yeah, that Carol Thole. No, it's somebody I've never heard of. Peter Manassis. So no wonder I didn't recognise it. No idea what that's all about. Right, there we have Herbert Frank. I don't know where he just did this one or another one as well. Um, anyway, we're over at one, two, three now. That's a, a nice curly frizz cover. Uh, that is uh, that will be translated from German or whatever. Um, and then Howard Fast, Touch of Infinity. Right, Jack Gorn again. I think that's, um, yeah, it's a book of short stories. Quite nice, actually. Quite inventive. Yeah, so that was that one. Right, let's just um, pull this other pile of wars and leave that it topping over. Right, um, to Lynn, Lynn Carter again. That's the uh, first of the Gondwain books, I think it is. Yeah, first of the Gondwain. Oh well, <laughs> if only if only I could read. <laughs> there it is, right in front of me. That's um, not not my cup of tea, but um, say, Lynn Carter did it. Hmm, is it three different series for the door? Um, or maybe four, I can't remember. Not being much interested, but um, anyway, that's a nice cover and it's by Vincent DeFate. Okay, that's him. Right, now we move on to one of the books that cost me an arm and a leg. Um, but it served, I think this is the one that gave me my first 200. Brought up the first 200 anyway. Uh, unfortunately, about the sticker there, but never mind. Um, yeah, hard to be a god. Um, that is a Kelly phrase cover that harks back to a very famous cover that he did for Astounding magazine. And it was used on uh, one of uh, the Queen's uh, one of Queen's albums. Has become a very famous image. Uh, in that particular image, the the hand is being held up by the rob a robot. Would have seen it somewhere, I'm sure. But yeah, that's one of the uh, one of the more expensive books. Uh, I had to sell for a slightly lower grade copy because. It ain't cheap, especially in high grade. Right. In was. That's a 
very nasty cover that one, don't like that at all. Um, we'll have to check that one out. Uh, is that Peter Manesis again, or Manesis, whatever he calls himself? Mm, don't care much for his artwork. I'm glad he didn't do too many. So that's one, two, seven. Right, ah, there's one of my favourite covers. Nice Josh Kirby jobby there. Stress pattern. Neil Barrett. Now, um, Neil Barrett is, um, he did another four books, or Dor published another four of his books, I keep getting that wrong. Um, he did later on four books in the Aldea series. Well, I'm pretty certain that's all he did. Or all that door did. <laughs> Whichever way you want to look at it. It's easier for me to say uh, what he did for door for some reason. But yeah, that's a nice phallic symbol there. But great cover. I love Josh Kirby. Right, that was that one. Um, we get back to our friend Prescott again. Gone one of his lesser efforts, I would say. Not much to say about these. I mean, I, I would probably find them unreadable to be honest. But um, there you go, they were popular, so Daw kept publishing them. I suppose it's one of these cases of <coughs> people buying what they what they know, uh, mm -hmm. what they recognise, because a lot of readers are familiar. Uh, I, I, I prefer the familiar things that they know that what they're going to get in other words whereas I don't like that at all I like a bit of innovation right here's another series uh, Stellar Pilot Granger but it's uh, no, 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 no. yeah 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 I always get mixed up between these and the other series the uh, John Grimes um, because that's Bertram Chandler, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, there's a, there's a Kelly Freese, number 130. I think that's the fifth level, is it? Yeah, yeah, number five. Fenris device. Right, um... Joseph Green... Another Kelly Freeze cover. Uh, Thompson's in the planetary. Quite nice. And another. Not the wrong Goulart. Jack Gorn, I believe. Just check it. So I'm not misleading you. No. Hans Arnold. Got one wrong. Right, and another curly frizz head. Uh, stone that never came down. Quite nice. Get another brunner. And Gerard Klein, another nice Josh Kirby there. Nice. Right. Um, Foster. Another. Kelly Friss. Yeah, a new copy of that, I think. Oh, let's cruise him, but never mind. Well, that'll do for now. And there's another Jack Gorn, what you can see of it anyway. Book of Sabah, Sabah Egan. Quite good, this series. Of collections. Right, and yet another Gordon Dixon, our master. Not sure about that one, I'll have to have a quick peeky. Um, oh, well, it's our mate Jack Gordon, isn't it? Silly me, should have known that. Right, here's another, that's the last of the Green Star series, number four. Once again by the excellent 
by Crinkle. Lovely artwork. Right, there. right here's one of the Grimes books. Back mark. Are we now? 139. That's a, another Kelly Fritz, by the way. Right, there's a fantasy um, in the not world. That's George Bark over there, I have to say. That's uh, my cup of tea, so I guess I won't be reading that anytime soon. And yet another, another Gore, Jack Gorn. Oh no, it's not Jack Gorn, it can't be. I did a couple of these, but. Oh dear. <laughs> Kelly Frears, believe it or not. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it now. Kelly Frears. Yep. Good. Okay. Too many to go now. Ah, oh, no, this one's an annoyance. It's the worst door cover ever. Let me tell you. Why, for such a long title, do you need such a large font? And why do you need all this guff up here? And why do you need to make that so small? Now, believe it or not, that is a Josh Kirby. I mean, that is crazy. I'm going to get rid of that very quickly because that one annoys me, <laughs> quite frankly. Right, um, is there all, mate? Do him rest again with a nice George Bar. Actually, some of George Barr's um, covers are very reminiscent of Kelly Frears, but, but it's definitely George Barr. Doom rest 12. Right, oh, it's a nice one. Nice one. Kelly Frears, great. A bit risque for. Kelly, could you have those stars are well positioned there? Uh, that was um, that was actually printed in 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 the UK as a, under the title of the girl with a symphony in her fingers, I believe it was. Um, really must get around to reading something of his because um, Stephen, the outlaw bookseller, tells me he's oh well worth reading. Right, here we go, another Scorpio stroke Antares stroke Dre Prescott, whichever one you, you prefer. Um, I believe it's Jack Gorn, but better look it up to see. Yeah, yeah, there he is, Jack Gorn again. Okay, and we're rolling towards the last five here. Right, um, yeah. Strange enough, the later printing of that is very expensive, more expensive than the first printing. So, and it has its own number as well. Uh, there's a number in the 400 somewhere. I don't know why they did that, but there again, it's very. The artwork is very small, and I don't know who it is. It is Hans Ulrich and Ute Osterwalder, apparently. There you go. Alright, here's good old Jack again, Jack Gorn. Not a very nice cover, that one. The figures seem a bit weird. That sword looks a bit strange in his hand, doesn't it? Nice background, though. Actually, I, li I like this series, the Berserker series. Uh, quite a few in it. I can't remember quite how many, but it's the only door Berserker book, as far as I know, but it's um, it's quite a good, good read. Right. There we go with the 1975 Jack Gorn again. These um these are surprisingly difficult to run down actually. I had quite a bit of trouble running the annual world's best SF down. And there we have Swan Song, that's another hooded swan. Kelly Friss. And that's and last but not least, we have, I think that was the first Michael Whelan K 
cover for door. Second book of the Gondwain epic. So there you have it. There's uh, numbers 101 to 150. Um, I shall be along very shortly with uh, 151 to 200. So until then, thank you all for everything and I will see you very soon. Bye bye now.